John, you made a run at him in the second half, got up to 10, and they responded, and you just really couldn't get any closer because they obviously shot the ball very well today. It's a good team. Good team. We knew that dude coming in. I mean, they're, they're, they're a veteran group. They got a talented bunch of guys and uh, very well coached. You know, I, I thought our guys responded. You know, we started the game a little bit better, and they, they got some separation. But it was seven or eight, I think, at, at the half. And uh, they made a little run to start the second half. But our guys did respond and just came up short. John, a little bit on Fletcher. Obviously, a special game for him coming home, and he just shot lights out here. He did. I mean, and, and um, I mean, the kid's a worker. You know, I've known him really since he's been little. I know his family really well, and you know, uh, always good to see local kids have some success. I mean, I hate obviously he had some success against us, but um, he, he worked for it. I mean, he did. He, he's uh, he's a gamer. Stepped up. He had a concussion, I think, early in the season, missed some games, and but he obviously worked at it, put himself in position uh, to go out and play well today. Uh, David really stepped up for you guys in the second half, and maybe the whole game kept you in the game, kept you within striking distance. Can you talk about the way he played, maybe his progression for you guys? Yeah, I mean he's uh, obviously just you know not quite a year and a half in, and, and very very capable. You know, David can do a lot of different things for us, and you know he, he leads by example. You know he continues to push, he continues to fight. He made some big shots for us that help us cut into the lead. Um, and he's the kid that works. I mean, he comes in and shoots extra shots and. I mean, he watches film, he studies him, studies his game, and, and uh, I mean, his success is no surprise you know, to us as a staff. David, how do you think you played today? Was it one of your better games? Uh, yeah, but like Coach said, I mean, I can know I can do better. Uh, There's way more I can do better than, you know, lead us to a win, but sadly, you know, just came out with a loss. We did all we could do. John, you're down 20. They, you get it down to 10. But they come back, hit a three, boom, 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 and, you know, go yeah. back up. With. Yeah, and I, I think, Greg, that's where we've got to be a little bit better. I mean, we talked about that upstairs. We'll show our guys that, you know, and again, when we make a run, okay, what were we doing? Why did we get the run? Well, we got two or three stops in a row a couple different times. It helped us cut into the lead, you know, and then right when that game is in the balance, you got to really buckle down and get a big stop. you got to buckle down and get a big rebound. You know, and those, those it always comes down to a hand, handful of possessions. You know, we cut it to 10, and if we have two or three possessions go the other way, instead of it going, you know, one way, it goes from 10 to 5 to 4. John, were you satisfied with the effort? I mean, obviously, with this big a crowd in, you know, you want to put on a, a good show and get people to come back. Do you feel like you guys did that today? Um, you know, Greg, I'm, I'm never just uh, happy with a loss. I mean, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not one to sugarcoat anything. I'm very disappointed, honestly, because uh, I, I feel like that's a game that we could have won had we had a, done some things a little bit better, you know, how we did them in practice. Um, you know, but I, I do think the effort is there, and that's something I told the guys. I, I commend them for that because we're not, at this point, coaching effort. And we've had to coach effort, honestly, for three years. We're not coaching that right now. So that's a good thing. You know, we've just got to clean up our details and you know, be a little bit more disciplined on both ends of the floor. David, what would you like to see for improvement from yourself and maybe for the whole team? What do you think you guys can I mean, do? I mean, just like Coach said, it's just details. I mean, learning, you know, who's uh, like on an opponent team, who's going to get off, who's going to do this and that. Just like cleaning up those details. John, Coach Henson said the series might take a day off, a week, year off, and then resume. Just your thoughts. I mean, is this a good game for you guys to play? I think it's a great game. Next year to resume it after that. Yeah, I mean, I, uh, it's a game that we, we enjoy playing. I think it's great for our, our area. You know, uh, we're, we're trying to play more regional games. We, we, you know, we had a series with Western. You know, that's something we'll potentially restart. I mean, I, I think anytime you can get regional games, in-state games, I think it's great for our fan base. You know, it's, I mean, obviously, you know, people get into the game. So, I mean, I think it's definitely good from that standpoint. No question. David, the crowd sort of energize you guys a little bit today? I mean, 30... 300, 30, 400, maybe the biggest crowd of theirs. You guys notice that? And we oh, yeah. A little? Oh, yeah. Fans always bring that big energy towards us. I mean, it gives us a boost every day, every game. I mean, it's always been like that. And I hope, you know, everyone's come back through the same thing. Um, I don't know. Did you guys kind of have, like, a favorite moment from the game? Even, um, even just sitting watching, it was... Um, despite the loss, there were still a couple of like really exciting moments. Did you guys have like a favorite, maybe? Uh, I, I, w I would rather say like the stops that we got, you know, to cut it within 10. I think those were like my greatest moments, I would say. So, thank you, guys. Thanks, Thanks guys. guys. Thanks for being here.